is, the difference is with me is, I'm not a star, I'm not a superstar, struck, asshole, diva ass nigga. Right. I'm a dirty nigga. So that became a rapper. I'm not a rapper that's trying to play a, 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 a hustler. I'm a hustler right. that's trying to be a rapper. Right. So at the end of the day, you know, we, we learn to be, be corporate, we learn to be business, but you have to understand what's embedded in me is street shit. And you have to know how to talk to a street nigga. You know how to have the respect. There's a thing called code, and a lot of these niggas lost their code. And you have to check their ass. Right. And I think a nigga should be happy that if a nigga busts your head or slap the shit out of you real fast, you should be happy for that. Right. Because you really could get a bullet in your head and you're not going to come back no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm like your God. I, I slap the shit out of you instead of killing you. So I allowed you to go home. Right. Right. Okay. The slapping thing, right? That's, that's the, the slapping thing. That's, that's my man Jack's signature and shit. I asked him about that when we was together on the island. Every story he told me when somebody got out of pocket, he slapped the shit out of somebody. Cause they need a box, yo. Some niggas just need a box. You didn't hear on the Flip Mode album, you run to a box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> niggas need a box sometimes, yo. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never met so much niggas that, if you're so tough, you just run off his mouth, run off your mouth, run off your mouth, and you act like you vote or something, like it can't happen to you. Some niggas deserve to get boxed. And they should be happy to just get boxed and wake them up a little bit and make them be different next time. Right. Because a nigga could give you a, a, a bullet in your face, like for real. I watch niggas get rinsed in their face the whole clip. He said rinsed. Yeah. I watch a nigga rinse a whole clip in the nigga face. <laughs> Till the, the, the fucking clip up like, Ch yeah, watch that. Because he was running his mouth. If you remember any nigga that you grew up with or whatever, you know, we all know a bunch of hustlers. We all know a bunch of killers. Really right. look back. Right. Any of the nigga that really got murdered, he's a running his mouth ass nigga. Played himself too much ass nigga. And the real nigga that did get murdered, got set up, right. he got set up both by those kind of niggas. Right. You did? True that. You from Church Ave? Dutty with Dutty, yes. Church out on the way, baby. That's where you met Haitian Jack. Oh, yeah, we all live in the same neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's a five block, two block, 20 block, 30 block radius, nigga, we neighbors. So you knew him when he was on the bike and shit? I knew when, I knew when he was not growing his waves, nigga. <laughs> he, was, he was going to middle school, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Right. And that's my man. As much as they say they were like, Jack Snitch. All right, bring me the paperwork. Yeah, I ain't seen that yet. Bring me paperwork. It's only been 25 Jack Snitch, years. bring me paperwork. Because all your niggas, they say you snitch. I know your paperwork, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? I read paperwork, man. You, <laughs> the, the, the Jack Snitch, 25, 25, 25 years. So, that, and, and nobody, no journalist, nobody, nobody got no paperwork on. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, find it on my nigga. Did what he did. Okay. Gully. My nigga did what he did. He said he did what he did. He don't go fuck. He didn't give a fuck. And I'm keeping real. I'll tell, He'll tell you what he's doing, dude. Yeah, I'll tell everybody right now. Right. That shooting they said with Pop. Right. Jack has something to do with it. Right. Never that. I tell I already told Never that. I, Jack, let me tell you what Jack would have did. Jack would have seen Pop by himself in boxing. And that would have been that. He'd have boxed Pop and that's it. My niggas already. <coughs> my, niggas, my niggas slapped the shit out of. Uh, 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 what the boy out there from Harlem? Look at one that snitch. Alpo. Oh. My nigga slap Alpo. Yeah, he tried to do that shit to my niggas. They box that nigga. Yeah, Dutty. In Lacey's, in a, in, a, in a roller rink called Lacey's, nigga. Yeah. Only gangsters know about that place. Yeah, that's the borderline of, uh, of Queens and Long Island. That's New York shit. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, Long Island and Queens borderline. Lacey's was a rink. Right. Yeah. The sh shower posse ever come to Church Avenue? Yeah, the shower posse all over Church Avenue like roaches. They all do that. You know what I'm saying? We knew a couple of them too. Everybody, everybody, man. You know, I just felt like the littlest nigga in that whole shit. Everybody older than me and everybody taller than me, nigga. Right. I was like a hydrant at them times, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. I knew how to make the money. Right. 
I never stole nothing. Mm. Never short a crumb. Right. Mm. I was always on time. Mm. Right. Got locked up, didn't say nothing. Mm. Did my little time. Mm. While everybody getting 10 years, I got six months. Mm. Cause you ask me if I know and them for, for they, they held me for like five months asking me questions and six months was my sentence. Cause the five <laughs> months I was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. How you gonna ask me if I know Jack? You know I know Jack, cause Jack lived two blocks away from me. So you know I know Jack. But what Jack do, I don't know. Right. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> cause that's why, my, that's why my OG still call my phone up to this day. Cause it's, I've always been a thorough nigga. I stick to the script. 